Yo, what's going on? I'm back with another episode of the council. That part to council. Uh, getting to, what is this, part six, seven? I don't know. Yeah, tell me. Let's get into it. I get a chance. I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Oh, we will definitely do that as the game goes on. Oh, uh, wait. The red swan on the first floor is this way. This way. It might be better to take a different stairway. Must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. What? This one? Ah, uh, I can't go in there yet. Okay. Can't go in there. Okay. Must be this one. Let's go down here. Go down here and see what the fuss is about. Emily again? Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. Oh. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holmes. Look. The only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jacques Peru. You're her son. Sarah de Richet's son. Yes, mm -hmm. why? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. Mm. Really? Yes. I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you? Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No. I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've, I've got to go. Wait, I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? I want to find out what really happened. No, you really don't want to know what your mother did when I shed my first blood at puberty. On the contrary, you can tell me anything. Let me be my own judge. Mm. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Ooh. Your mother, for example. You mean the woman who left me in the hands of your mother? The woman whose duty it was to give up her life oh, to protect me? I didn't know I didn't know I just owned my mother when I turned 13. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have mentioned her. Take your father. 
I'm sure he tried everything to save you. Sure, he tried everything to keep me from upsetting his political affairs. Once I was declared insane, I was nothing but a burden that got in the way of his career. By leaving me with your mother, he made all the horrors possible. I've got nothing more to say to you. Figure it out yourself. No, run that back. Bump that. Yeah, you heard me right. We're running that. We're running that part back. We're running that part back, guys. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is no, there's no. My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing, so I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since. Oh, but I remember her. You can ask. Huh. And next you're going to tell- My heart, I love- Wait, she's in- Look. Wait. Why? There must be some reason. What's the point of rubbing salt in the... I want to find out what really happened. No, you really don't want to know what your mother did when I shed my first... On the con... Honey, you couldn't give a dick. Don't say that. Some people care. Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Mm. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. Mm. So what you do, then? My father used to know Sir Holmes. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's coming for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. What the heck? So she abused... Huh. Interesting. I don't think about that. It's interesting. It's very interesting. These guys are trying to hide. What are y'all up to? Where they go this way? Where did they go? I ain't even pay attention. Do it this way, right? This way, this way. Yep. Okay. Shit. Y'all doing? Mm-hmm. What are you guys up to? Dear friends, I've 
bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Your hand, Christophe von Wolner, Minister of Religious huh? Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, <laughs> Lieutenant <laughs> of the French Revolutionary Arms. And Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal oh, what are these names, y'all? Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. Wow. Is he tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the King's table. I am <laughs> delighted to meet you. Volner and Piaggi seem to get along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the house of the Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. What? A Prussian Britannic coalition is not good for France. The last time we fought against them, our empire went up in smoke. Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Sudan, isn't it? Absolutely. If I am not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favourite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry, I appreciate the same great varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would, would you repeat that? Oh, well, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms have all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mentioning that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. <laughs> Don't tell me you have a crush on her. Yes, thank you. Oh, I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. <laughs> what do you think of Ulner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Wagner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. Yeah, I do. Have you any information on this Napoleon? 